Hey folks, it's here and welcome to Let's Play Victoria 2 with New World Order mode and I decided to play from the starting date in 1992 as Israel. So what can we do as Israel? Well that's a pretty funny thing because I was looking around before starting and I see we are a colonial province which is uh, not really good for us. We are socialists but we can't even build factories because we are a colonial state that's terrible so what can we do against that well I guess we'll have to fix the problem by making Palestine focus on bureaucrats go play in the budget to get a bureaucrats to the max with the education of course gonna lower the maintenance on the army fleet we don't have any fleet yet and uh, raise the tariff as well as the taxes and it seems like we don't have a big tax base but we'll see maybe lower military god it's expensive <laughs> wow what an expensive budget anyway seems good for the budget let's see technology wise I want to grab in culture the telephone exchange and uh, what else again you got some uh, options here move toward the World Bank get better loan interest or United Nations ah, it could be cool joining the United Nations but uh, I'll stay out of it for now anyway as for situational geopolitical situational we are pretty much as late here if look at the relationship nobody really likes me well ki Turkey kinda not a lot they're like with North Cyprus that's good and all of that, but uh, I mean, I want to play as Zionist Union? Maybe not. Let's see the parties. More like the Shas. Yeah, seems good. The Orange Party want to play like that, so we have to move out. So let's see, before we start, we will need a naval base. And sorry if I'm just jumping the game, uh, feel more comfortable just playing this way. You can always watch my other let's plays where I explain more how the game works. But as for the mod, yeah, there's there's a lot of new things and uh, we we'll eventually go through everything so just bear with me. Okay, so we got that done. We're building railroads everywhere. Well, not exactly everywhere. As well as building a naval base and we shall build forts but I'm kind of poor right now so I'll wait for that. It just pile up the money meanwhile Ew, terrible terrible and uh, we got a pretty sizable army a lot of tanks a lot of fighters a lot of infantry a lot of motorized infantry that's pretty cool we just lower the spending on them let's just split them apart because we don't need that many people in one stack let's just split them in three stack and uh, We'll have to focus around on our neighbors, see where we can expand. They are in the USA sphere, that's not good. Lebanon. Ooh. France kind of care for Lebanon. I don't think they will have the power to join, so we'll always conquer them. We'll see, we'll see. We'll just start time, try to adjust the economy and all of that. And uh, can I expand the machine part factory? Uh, I have a lot of room left, so let's just focus on that. That's the only factory we'll have for a while, so gotta love it. Alright, and I just turn off the notification, so if I have... There's a lot of decisions that pop up, so if any of them come, then I'll be able to grab them. And now let's start the game. Let's speed up to four. Alright, so great wars are found. The Cold War. A nuclear world. So we can make the bombs. Well, we we have to make the bombs. So let's let's do it. We already have the bombs. Whatever. The Cold War era ends. So yeah, Russia now exists. All the Eastern Blocs are now democratic. Yeah. Is that good news? Yeah, good question. Is that good news? Oh, we could sign the treaty on non-proliferation of nuclear weapons. Which means, oh, we'll get, uh, yeah, let's just do that. I don't want to nuke out my neighbors. I will if I need to, but I don't feel like doing that. Let's just see what uh, is 
coming up we're losing a lot of money what's so expensive 31 dollar from the army why are you so expensive what's that spending on construction a lot on construction so let's lower that and now we'll be making money that's kind of okay and education is so freaking bad why why is education so bad how many teachers I have what the hell is that 41,000 teacher and they're not teaching is this just uh, a bug I don't know seems like so hopefully that gets fixed what's so expensive now military spending 15 god I don't want to disband my army so okay okay I will do with that we'll do without money maybe we'll go sign the Brotherhood credit system so we'll get some loans all right let's run on the loans all right good demographic transition the of fertility increase that's good now we're taking money from the banks Ugh, so bad why is admin efficiency so bad too I don't get it hmm that's pretty terrible really terrible And the budget are adjust as possible we really need to reduce spending now I mean twenty dollars I have no idea what they're where this is coming from so ah, we could get prestige let's just try prestige let's try to become a secondary power we will be more useful this way we're still losing money it's so expensive running country in the Middle East what's so expensive what is so freaking expensive? Soldiers are very expensive. I mean, I really cannot disband my army though. What's so expensive? Probably the planes. No, that's just one daughter. That's just not even a daughter. And that's not even a daughter. I don't get it. Why is it so expensive? Alright, I guess we'll just deal with it. We'll go bankrupt if needed. We will friggin' go bankrupt. I guess that's how the economy is supposed to work. If so, then we'll leave with that. Alright, let's see the budget. Meanwhile, everybody seems to be getting parts of their needs. Except the poors, but you know, the poors are part of the bargain. They, they, they cannot afford to live comfortably. If you want the middle and rich to live comfortably, so everybody's paying taxes, but the poor are suffering. So I'm pretty good with that. That's how it should be. And that's a joke, by the way. No, don't worry. Anyway, we're uh, socialist, so we will be able to pass reform eventually. Maybe next year. Next year we should be able. And as you can see, there's uh, a lot of new reforms. There's a couple of weird things. Uh, let's stay on our own path for that. Oh, we will get the uh, bonus relationship with China. No, I don't think so. Stay on our own path. Stay away from the United Nations. We're a strong nation standing for ourselves. Losing enough money doing so, but standing for ourselves. Yeah, interest is terrible. We're running a big deficit, but we're we're a modern country. We have to run a big deficit. Why is administration so expensive if we're not even gaining anyone? What the hell? Yeah, it seems like everybody's living comfortably. I guess as long as the interest don't go over seven, we're fine. So we can take quite long if needed. And plus 100 percent of socialists. Ooh, that's that's impressive to see. Everybody's socialist. 
So we could go for higher education efficiency. Does that change anything? And that changes nothing. So I'm really wondering, is the game broken or something? Yeah, I think so. I don't understand otherwise how I could still be at 0% literacy. No, we'll just keep soldiering on, try to see uh, what the hell's going on. I have no idea. Hmm. Alright, so we're still running a deficit. That's not fun to see. An extending deficit. At least people got money for me. For my poor aspirations to... Why is nothing working? That, that I don't get it though. Seems like nothing is working. All right, let's go for early networks. We'll get another 50% bonus research points. Yeah. Right. That's so mysterious. I'm not getting literacy. I don't get it. Alright, so we got a good natural growth. Not really getting any. How do you call them? Immigrants? <laughs> wow, that was uh, weird. Slaves. They're slaves. I don't think they're slaves in 92. Neither the order start date. I guess that's just an oversight or leftover from the original game. But still, pretty interesting and nice mode. Just try and see what we can do. We're not allowed to expand the factory because we don't have the money. All right, we'll just we'll just take a loan. Ooh, can I take a huge loan? So let's take thirty-seven grand and let's uh, let's expand the factory while we're waiting for colonial points. <clears throat> what else can we wait for? Expanding the naval base, 1995. Wow, that's. That's a long time to expand a naval base. A couple of years, three years. Well, all right, we'll just keep flowing the speed at five and not understanding why education is not coming up. What am I doing wrong? I have higher education here. My population are getting educated, unless I have a very massive population that's not educated, even then. Uh, yeah, let's grab consciousness. After 348,000 soldiers from Tel Aviv, they're pretty dedicated. But I'm at zero here. Hmm, if anybody has the answer, please let me know because I'm really curious as to what is going on here. Strange, strange, strange. Uh, let's see, population got some oh religion secularized so that's a religion apparently yeah everybody's freaking oh can we pass a reform not yet yeah now we can so let's grab uh, public higher education and uh, we can enforce that assimilation rate that would be nice if we can assimilate people of course that would be very nice Otherwise, let's see who's not educated in the country. It's 25%, the worst. Worst score, so I really don't get it. Why is it that I'm at zero? Hmm. Bug it up game. Alright. There's an international crisis. Let's, let's take a look at that while we're growing our economy in deficit. So India versus China, China is being backed up and they want to liberate Kalistan. I think uh, India will bow down. Oh, the USA decided to back India. That's not good. That could make quite a conflict. An interesting one that, I mean, I got 600. 2,600 hmm they're kind of uh, similarly 
we have the same power on both sides so that might make something really interesting meanwhile since I need to increase my education why not just invade Lebanon are you being loved by just France so let's uh, research a conquest conquest I'm gonna take over that price is still growing Japan is now backing China hmm <clears throat> that will be an interesting battle well I had a hard time with my words but I guess I will go for the next episode folks so this is SJ if you've enjoyed don't forget to drop a like share and comment and don't forget to go try New World Order mode. It's pretty cool. Alright, see you next time.